everyone! Thank you so much for tuning in to our channel once again. So today's video request is entitled, How to Make a Vinyl Cover in Canva. So let's get started! Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Create a Design over here. And from the drop down, I'm going to choose Custom Size. And I've actually researched earlier the uh, size for a vinyl cover sleeve is about 12.5 inches by 12.5 inches. So that's what we're going to input here. And we're going to click on create new design. So this is going to be our workspace. And in case we'd like to use some templates to make everything easier, then we can go to the side panel over here, which automatically appears right after we get redirected to the editing page. But if you want to know where to find them, they're under the design category. And yeah, we're going to try to look for some templates for vinyl covers. So let's see if we can find some. We have a couple here. So yeah, feel free to choose one that you'd like. As for me, perhaps we're going to try to um, start from scratch today and make something just simple, I think. And yeah, we're going to get started. First, we're going to change our background color. So select any color you like, or you can also use your own photos if you want to go to the upload section to do that. If you haven't uploaded your photos yet, then click on Upload Files. And in case you'd like to use elements from Canva, go to the Elements section and type in whatever you want to look for. Say, for example, Nature. And then click on Photos. And there you go. And if you want to have a better option than these, you can actually go to Pexels or Pixabay. Now, if you're wondering how I got these two right here on my sidebar, uh, they're from the Apps category. So click on Apps, scroll down and find Pexels and Pixabay right over here. And then once you click on them, they'll be automatically added to your um, sidebar. So yeah, we're going to try to type in here Nature. And perhaps we can choose some photos that we like. Say, for example, this one. And we're going to right click and set image as background. And in order to edit the placement, we're going to double click and drag it into place. Just like that. Okay. Now, if you want to keep looking for photos, feel free to do so. <laughs> As for me, I'm going to change it to something like this. I think this looks really nice. It's simple, yet nice. And I think a lovely text would appear very nice over here. So, yep, I think that should be okay for now. And now we are going to add a text. So there are two things we can do. We can press T on our keyboard to add a text box automatically. And then we can also go to the sidebar once again and click on text over here so that we can choose from different text templates that we can modify and use. Okay, so let's get started. Um, we're just going to put here something simple. My. And then we're going to duplicate, play, oh, I'd like it to be like that, playlist. And we're going to make it bigger than the other one. And for this, um, maybe we could adjust the spacing. And then we're going to try to select a different font for this text. So to do that, we're going to go to this button over here and choose whatever font we'd like to use. I'd like to use handwriting styled fonts. So let's type that on the search bar. And here we are. Let's try out everything here. Well, I think this, this is quite nice. 
so maybe we should stick with that but let's try to see others everything is nice so it's quite difficult to choose let's try a couple more Mm. This is quite nice. And perhaps we could change the color of this text as well. So let's go to this button over here. And by the way, this is like a palette that Canva automatically generated based on the photo that I have here. I think it's quite a useful little tool. But I don't think we're going to be using that. A light, a white color would be fine, I think. And then we're going to change the font for this text as well. So let's go ahead and do that. I'd like to use a corporate style font for this so that there would be contrast between the two texts and it would look more interesting okay and maybe we could change the color to white as well and perhaps we can also add some effects let's try to see what effect would look good How about we choose the color picker tool and select this color over here? Does it look nice? I don't think so. Maybe we should just use the lift effect to make it more visible from the background. And we're going to apply the same thing for this text over here. Okay. And now maybe we can add some elements to make it look a bit more interesting. So we're going to go to the element section and we're going to type in whatever it is that we're looking for. Graphics. What about music? Let's try this one out and let's see where we could fit it. Perhaps it would go great here, but let's give it a try. Let's try to change its color. And maybe we could add another. Perhaps we could duplicate it. And maybe we could flip it too. I don't think it looks great. So maybe we're going to leave it like that. And we're going to try to look for other elements instead that would fit our design. So what about this one? Maybe we could flip it as well. And change its color to white. And maybe we could add a fancy line for the word my. This one would probably do. Yeah, I think it looks great and yeah you can actually add your whatever it is that you want to add below <laughs> so we're gonna try to add a text here let's just type in something random by Jane 
crypto. And we're going to change it to white. And perhaps we're going to try to add a background color to it to make it more visible. We're going to go to effects, background, and we're going to select this color over here as background, but we're going to try to make it darker. And we're going to zoom in to see better. We're going to try to adjust the letter spacing as well. And then we're going to adjust its roundness as well as its spread. Now we're going to try to align it properly. And there. I just want to select everything so I could move them all at once over here. I think we've got a lot of space. Okay, I think that should do it. So yeah, we're done with our design. And now we're going to go to the share button to download it. So we're going to go to download. And here you can select whatever file type you'd like your design to be saved as. PNG is the best for complex images or illustrations, but if you want to print it out, then the best option for you would be PDF print. And yeah, um, check other download settings as well according to your preferences. And once you're done, click on download. And your design will be downloaded. And I think that's all for today. We hope you found today's video of help somehow, and we thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you in the next video. You have a great day.